Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I have a huge Dollar Tree nail supply haul for you all. Um, I, this is a collective haul actually. Um, I actually went to a few different Dollar Tree stores just to kind of shop their crafts aisle and their beauty aisle to see what type of nail supplies I can find. And I found a lot of goodies. So I'm gonna hop right onto this video and show you all what I picked up. So yeah, these are some of the items that I picked up here at my local Dollar Tree. So yeah, first I wanna, st oh actually, kind of a, like I said, it's collective haul. I do have just a few miscellaneous items from two or three different stores. So I'm gonna hop right on into that and show you all what I picked up. So the first thing is um, this one minute artificial nails. It says it's an acrylic effect. I actually picked this up from Ross and um, it says it's acrylic powder iron formula. So it ends chipping and cracking nails. Um, and it says it's supposed to be as hard as acrylic, high shine, two week wear. Um, so I've previously been using the Nail Aid Keratin 3D growth and I really like it and this is something I have just to have in between my uh, manicures so I picked this up um, and then I was at Walmart and I just so happened to pick this up and it's just like something you can use for a background so yeah I like the option to be able to just change up my background so this is just green glitter contact paper um, and then staying along that same theme, I actually picked up a few more background, like backdrops for um, my videos. And so um, I normally get my backdrops from Michaels and their backdrops range anywhere from uh, 79 cents to $1.99. So some of the fancier ones are $2 and then um, the basic ones are 79 cents. So. Um, I believe this one right here was only 79 cents if I'm not mistaken, but this background you have seen in a ton of my videos. So this is probably my favorite one. And when I was doing um, my Halloween nail set, I dropped some red acrylic powder on it, uh, red dip powder on it, and it just kind of destroyed it. So I had to go back and get another one. And while I was there, I bought a few more. So this is one. Um, I also really like this one a lot. So you all might see this one a lot more. I love the marble, I love the gray, and I love how it shows up here on camera. So y'all will probably see this in one of my videos, but this is one I really like as well. I also picked up this kind of um, champagne color. I don't know um, that I like how it looks on, um, you know, as far as like when I'm filming, I feel like the lighting doesn't do my hands justice, but that's kind of what this paper looks like here. We also have another glitter background. And then we have this beautiful bling background, which I think is super gorge. So this is one you'll probably see a lot as well. I have a pink glitter background, so that's really nice. And then I have this wooden background, which I thought was really cool. Okay, actually, so this is the one that was 79 cents. So this is just paper. And these right here are of a thicker material. So yeah, that's why they're a little bit more expensive. But I thought this was really cute. Um, I think you'll definitely see this in a few videos as well. So those are all of the um, backgrounds that I got. And then let me pull this one back out here. And in an attempt to make sure I don't mess these up, I actually went from Dollar Tree and got um, this is chopping mats from Dollar Tree. And it's really just like a transparent, um, I got it for a transparent thing to cover up my um, background so that I don't mess them up. And so let me take it out of the package in here. So, so this actually comes with two in the pack. So I thought this was a really good deal. So you get two of them for a buck from Dollar Tree. And so to protect my backgrounds, um, essentially, I would just put it over like this and then I'm able to film and if I drop something on my background, I'm not messing it up. So I really like this and it really helps to protect my background and I'm able to drop stuff, spill stuff and not have to worry about ruining my uh, beautiful contact paper. So yeah, this is a nice little hack if you all are wanting to have different backgrounds but don't wanna mess them up. If you wanna just use like, you know, contact paper and things like that, get these little cutting sheets from Dollar Tree and it'll help you protect that and have more longevity. So that's all of the backgrounds. I'm gonna hop into the nail art that I picked up from Dollar Tree. So um, I did see that they had a butt ton of um, nail jewels. And this is something actually that my sister told me about. I felt like I had seen them at Dollar Tree before, but I really um, wasn't sure. I thought they were gonna be too big for the nails, but um, they actually aren't. So here's the first design here. And these are just jewel border stickers. They're craft stickers. 
and I like the idea of being able to just stick them, like take them off and then stick them right to your nail. And then I can always just kind of secure it in with some um, gel top coat. So I got this one here. It's just like a nice baby blue. Um, this one also is a nice baby blue, but it has like um, like teardrops and then a bit clear diamonds there. This one is a multicolored pack. So I'm happy to have like some different colors just kind of test and play around with. And then I also have um, a pink set here. Beautiful jewels, rhinestones. And then I picked up um, the black set. And you all can see that some are actually missing down here. I have tried this set out. I'm gonna try to insert a picture here on the screen so you can see what they look like. I did some um, fall nails with this and I really like the look. These were really beautiful on the nails. They lasted pretty well and then I also got compliments while wearing this set, while wearing some of these rhinestones. So um, they're definitely cute and hold up pretty well. I got two of these. I got some for my sister as well. I got these clear ones, um, which I thought was really cute. And then it has the pearl in the middle. So those are really nice. I got two of those. I also found some gold ones, which I'm super excited to try out. So those are really pretty. Yeah. And I got two of those. So yeah, this, these right here are really, really nice. Um, and I'm excited to try these out more and let you all know if they're actually worth it or not. But so far, I think they are because like I said, I tested a few and they lasted really well and I got compliments on them. Next, I found um, this cute little flexible stencil. Um, I'm not really sure how this is gonna work. Um, I really got it for the idea of doing like, um, brick nails or just like, you know, fishnet nails or something like that. I got it particularly for my nail art. And I actually think this one was the one that made me get it. Um, just to, I wanna try it out with putting like gel polish on there and then removing it and then seeing if it creates like the design that I want. Um, I thought this one was pretty cool too, just straight lines. So we'll see how this actually works out. It's pretty flexible, so it'll bend to the nail. So yeah, I will let you all know how this ends up working out for me. Sorry, my camera went dead there, but um, yeah, this looks like a pretty cool product. The next item I got here is some um, craft tape. Um, and so I thought these designs were really cool. I might try, um, Doing a design where I just apply these to my nails and maybe do top coat over it or using them to do like some color blocking or whatnot. But yeah, I just thought this was really cute and I wanna try and see if I can create some cool nail designs with them. So I have this and it came in a pack of five. I also have um, this beautiful glitter here. Like I think this glitter is absolutely stunning. So I got this in particular so that I could do a nail design where it'll be a clear nail and then just in the corner, kind of going across like so. I don't even know if I'm explaining it right, but just kind of going straight across, having glitter on this side. And so I thought this would be so pretty and so stunning to do that with. So I'll be hoping to do this soon, do a set like this really soon. I thought these were absolutely stunning. The next items I picked up were some nail tips, um, full cover tips. Um, I got these mainly to try and apply using the acrylic method. I have done that uh, plenty of times um, and really like uh, the look that it gives. Um, it's an alternative to applying press-on nails. Without using builder gel, you can use um, acrylic to apply the press-on nails. And so I got these for that if I'm in a pinch and need to do my nails really quick. Um, I also picked up these designs, which I think are so cute. Um, just some more press-on nails, sassy and chic, Press on nails from Dollar Tree are actually really good and they are very, um, they fit my, my nail bed really good. I'm not sure how these LA color ones are, but I liked it because it was the coffin shape. And then this one is just like a cute little Halloween short square set. So yeah, I thought these are all cool. So I picked these up. Next, I have some, L, some nail art. So I've been seeing um, a lot of gel liner brush, a lot of gel liners coming out from different companies like Kiara Sky, um, uh, Double Dip, and then I even saw that uh, Beatles has theirs as well. But I wanted to try to see if I could do some nail art using these um, Art Deco um, nail polishes from uh, Dollar Tree. And then also I wanna see if I can try using this as a stamping polish. Um, I do have just a few regular nail polishes left, but um, 
I was getting ready to get rid, rid of them, but then I want to get into stamping and trying more stamping plates. And so um, I decided to go ahead and pick some of these up so that I can use them for stamping polishes and for nail art because these dry pretty quick. So this is the color I got here. It's in highlight, so it's a nice yellow color. Um, I also got Poppin' Pink, which is a nice, bright, fun pink color, really good for the summertime. I also got this beautiful gold, it's 24K glitter, it's really, really pretty, nice and shimmery. I also picked up Flamingo. Um, this, honestly, Flamingo and Poppin' Pink look pretty similar. Oh, actually, I don't know, I'm looking at them a little bit closer, not really. This was more of a orangey pink and this was more of a pink pink, so that's that. And then I got this cool orange color that has like a really nice gold uh, sheen to it. And this is also called Flamingo. Wait a minute now. Yeah, both of these are called Flamingo, but they're definitely two different colors, so <laughs> I'm not sure why they would call the same thing. But they are two different colors. So yeah, I got these from uh, Dollar Tree. So yeah, I picked these up. Okay. I also um, picked up some of these droppers. Um, one is in lavender essential oil and the other one is in, I think, eucalyptus, no, sweet almond oil. And I got these to try out and see if I can use them as cuticle oil. Matter of fact, I'm gonna try to give that a go now. These are how the droppers come. And it is an essential oil, so let me just apply these to my cuticles and see if it works for me, you know? Let's give it a go right now. So this is supposed to be almond oil. I can't say that it smells like almond oil, but it is moisturizing my cuticles, so I will take that gladly. Okay. Yeah, uh, I think that works. Yeah, look at that, you guys. Nice hydrated and moisturized cuticle. So this hand doesn't have any cuticle oil on it. All right, so you see this one looking a little dry and then this is what they look like afterwards. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, all right, yeah. I'm glad I picked this up. And it does have a nice scent to it. Again, this was supposed to be sweet almond oil. Oh, and relaxed essential oil. I'm pretty sure this is eucalyptus. And then this is lavender, so I know I'm gonna love the lavender scent. I love all things lavender. So I picked these up for just some inexpensive cuticle oil, so I like that. The next thing I picked up is just um, some nail wraps. So I've never actually seen nail wraps at Dollar Tree before. I absolutely love using nail wraps, especially when I'm in a pinch and I just need to have my nails done really quick and don't have time to sit down and do them. So these are a great alternative to in-between manicures as well. So I got it in this purple and cheetah print color thought that was really cute also picked it up in like this cute summertime watermelon color really adorable um, this one is like a nice uh, teal blue with some yellow and then there's like a glitter sticker in here too um, this is a duplicate design and then I also got um, just yellow lemon and so yeah I thought these were really cool I also want to try potentially putting these over full cover nail tips and see how they work and hold up as well so you all might see a video of that coming soon but I think these are supposed to be dupes for like in Coco nails and I think City Street nails um, nail wraps so yeah and I and the Sally Hansen salon effect uh, nail wraps as well um, I really like the Sally Hansen ones and the Coco ones so let's see how these work out I think they work out just fine so yeah I'll let you all know how that holds up um, I also picked up some glue sticks <laughs> I know that's kind of random but these are like glitter glue sticks so first off I've never seen that before um, and second I kind of want to try something really crazy I know um, I don't know. I just picked these up. I'm not sure how many exactly how many use these yet, but I'm either going to try to use them for nail art or for sewing. So we'll see how these get used. But I thought they were really pretty, so I picked them up. Okay, so I also picked up some more just nail tools. Um, so these are just uh, some uh, nail brushes. So it's interesting. I picked these up from two different stores, and they pretty much look like they're the same. Um, this one has darker colored bristles and the other one has lighter colored bristles. I'm pretty sure this is like the old pack that used to come in and this is the new one. But anywho, I picked up two of these so I could have some more nail brushes. And then I also picked up this e.l.f. silicone dual sided blender. Um, I really got this to try the um, French tip nails. So there's a trend going around doing the French tip nails using a um, 
what is it called a stamper a nail stamper and so I also saw another video where they use just like a silicone beauty sponge so I ended up just getting this to try that out I know this is kind of random but some tea light candle holders and so I picked up this set right here it came in a set of four for just a buck and um, it's a candle holder and I actually got this in particular to use for um, my monomer and for alcohol. So I did recently use this um, in my in a video and I put alcohol in it and it worked perfectly fine, but it's just a clear um, glass container here. So you get four of them for a dollar. You really can't beat that price. So I got that for alcohol and monomer. And then I also picked this up. I thought this was cute um, and I want to use it as a dapping dish. And so I got this for my monomer and I thought it was just really cute and you know I think it'll look cute in videos when I'm dipping my brush into it and so this was only a dollar it's a tea light candle but I am going to use it as a dapping dish so yeah I thought this was adorable okay so the last things I want to mention is just storage items for all of this stuff that I got I need somewhere to put it along with all of the other items that I got so I'm gonna go ahead and show you here so I did pick up this it's an organizer box so I got this to just organize like crystals and such in um, so all of those gems that you saw so all of those gems that you saw that I hauled I am gonna go ahead and put them into these little containers for me to access when I'm ready to do my nail art and I did pick up two of these also picked up this little storage tin I thought this was absolutely ador adorable it says give it to God and it does come with like a, a pen and um, a little notepad here and this is actually going to be really useful for me um, especially when I'm thinking about different nail designs and things like that so I'm just going to write down different ideas I have for nail designs and such and put it in and just leave it in here and then also if I wanted to I could take this out and use this to store some of my nail art too um, but for now I'm just going to keep this in here but it says blessed is she who believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her so nice little motivational situation too so when in doubt give it to God y'all so I got this and then the last few items I picked up are some photo albums so these photo albums I got in particular to um, store my nail art designs I'm sorry my nail stickers and my stamping plates um, and so I just have just a regular little photo album nothing too fancy nothing too special but just making it easy for me to flip through and look at all the stickers that I have um, and so I picked this one up because I really like cats <laughs> um, and then I also just have like some plain colored ones which I'll probably use these to actually store everything in but I got this one too because I just thought it was cute so yeah let me know if you all want to see me do a video where I actually organize all of my nail stickers and stamping plates because yeah I have quite a few of them and um, it's hard trying to decide what to use when I have to dig through so much stuff so yeah I'm excited to just get everything organized so it'll be nice and easy to get to and access so yeah I picked up some photo albums for that purpose and then the last thing I have here um, this is actually just like a phone holder um, so yeah this is what I can use to hold my phone I do have a few of these I didn't realize that I had already purchased some so like I said this is a collective haul here but um, this is the one that I actually keep in my nail room and so I really like this so that when I'm filming a video and I want to prop my phone up I can literally just put my phone here like this and watch whatever I need to then it also holds my phone the tall way too so yeah I really like this a lot and I think it's cute and I was really happy that I could find a color that actually matches with my decor that's in my little nail room slash office and so yeah I like the fact that it, it folds down and is really compact too so yeah that is all that I have or that I have hauled today okay so I realized after I filmed the video and was putting away all of my Dollar Tree nail items that I hauled and I realized that um, I still had a few items that I didn't even mention because I had already put them away. So um, I also got some nail polish remover 100% acetone and this is the one that has the nice convenient pump on it. Um, so I really like that. I've actually used this already and it works wonderfully. I got two of these and um, I love the fact that they have the pump and the screw off top. So actually when I'm done using this I can just refill it with um, 
whatever I want. So this one I'm gonna refill with acetone and one I'm gonna refill with alcohol and it's just gonna make life a lot easier whenever I'm doing my nails. So I did get two of these from Dollar Tree and it's great, it's like a two for one, like I said, the acetone and the pump bottle. So I got these. And then I did find an electric nail kit, so an e-file at Dollar Tree, it's from the Sassy and Chic brand, and it comes with three nail bits, um, looks like a cuticle pusher, the buffing tool, and the shaping tool, so I definitely want to try this out and see how it works, um, so that's that. And then I also picked up just some pouches to like store things in, so this one was really cute, it says selfie prep kit. Here's another one here that says Beauty Secrets. In the past, I've used these bags for like makeup and then just storing like, you know, f um, my self-care actually items and things like that. So yeah, this one says Beauty Secrets and this one's really cute. It says Treat Yourself, has like a little donut on it. <laughs> and then the last one says Love Dream, Love Dream. And so yeah, I just thought these were really cute, but these are little pouches that I use to store some of my items in. And yeah, also while I am here, this is a great opportunity for me to let you all know that I am hosting a giveaway on my channel. So I am going to leave all the details for that giveaway in the description box below. Um, make sure that you all comment, like, and subscribe um, so that you all will be notified every time I upload and for any future giveaways I might have. But yeah, I want to leave all the details for the giveaway in the description box below. So definitely make sure you check that out. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut back to my regular video and do my standard outro. So I'll see y'all in my next video. Okay, so this is my collective Dollar Tree haul. This is everything that I picked up from Dollar Tree over the last few shopping trips I did, in particular to nail art. So I'm super excited to give all these items a try. Um, let me know if you all wanna see a video of me actually organizing my nail supplies because I actually enjoy organization videos. So if you all want to see that from me too, just definitely let me know down in the comments. Um, I'm excited to put all of these items to use I have plans for everything and I'm super excited so yeah um I also am planning to do a nail room tour so um definitely make sure you all are subscribed and have your notifications on so you don't miss that video but yeah um I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday um on my channel I talk about nails and body care so if that's the type of content you all want to see definitely stick around and join the happy family I would love to have you and as always you guys uh leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!